Slime splatter for killing a hundred slimes. I didn't realize it popped up now, so I killed a thousand. Whoops. Um. Sure, it's fine. All right, guys. Welcome to Epic Battle Fantasy Three. So, uh, yeah, I kind of had an issue where I was sitting here and I'm just like, I know there's a medal for that. It was a hundred. I sat there until a thousand. I'm really, really dumb. I'll be going after a lot of the achievements, I'm not going to say I will go after all of them, but at least try to get as many of the medals as I can. Also, spoiler, there's an Epic Battle Fantasy 4, which is on Steam, and a Bolt Heaven 2, which means there's a Bolt Heaven 1, which I haven't played those games, so maybe at some point, I don't know. Let's try a new game! So there's easy for those people who want a stress-free experience. Foes are 30% weaker. Foes are now regular. Foes are stronger. And foes are epic. Um, um, as per normal, I think I'm going to go in on normal. Yeah, I'm going to go in on normal just to relax and have fun here. Don't want to stress out too much. A few years ago, a great battle against an evil entity rocked the earth. The destruction left the population enfeebled and struggling to survive. A mighty warrior, Lance the Gunner, took this opportunity to conquer the lands. However, he was promptly defeated by Matt the Swordsman and Natalie the Magician. Following this battle, the three young heroes teamed up, hoping that no new evil force would defeat their combined power, and once more bring chaos to the world. The trio spent their days hunting treasure and challenging new opponents. Eventually, legends and rumors led them to an ancient tomb, the resting place of a powerful deity. To their surprise, it seemed that this being was still alive, merely imprisoned and induced into a deep sleep. Curiously, the trio prodded the chain demon, because it's just smart to do that. Why is there jiggle physics in this picture? I was just going over and I realized my mouse changed. The demon quickly awoke with a violent shockwave. The trio were stunned and unable to retaliate, uh, retaliate as powerful magic tugged at their souls. The demon began to drain their life energy, but as the heroes were so powerful, their combined energy was too much for him to absorb, as they survived the ordeal. However, the power of this demon was now so dense it began to distort space and time around him, forming a growing void of nothingness. When the trio awoke, they found themselves in a foreign land. land yeah. With most of their powers drained and their equipment scattered throughout the continent, they were reduced to the status of no ordinary adventures. Why am I messing everything up so badly? They would not give up until they had remedied the situation. Clearly, it was not just their problem, but the entire world's. An ancient and mysterious deity, now possessing their combined powers, was free to lay waste to the lands. Oh, by the way, use WAST or arrow keys to move around in space and interact with stuff, or M to escape. Wait, I don't... Oh, I don't have to use the mouse anymore. Awesome, I was waiting for that. So we got 100 coins and 2 kiwis, I guess? Oh, no. Let's talk to me. Oh. What just happened? I told you guys not to touch that thing. I felt my magic being drained from me. I don't think I can use it now. It looks dead. Smell dead, too. Never expect anything like this to happen. It's probably still out there, doing who knows what. Well, I guess we've landed pretty far away. This landscape is unfamiliar. Looks like a farm or some village? Maybe we better have a look around. <laughs> I just want my sword back. I spent years stealing those. Really heroic, Matt. <laughs> that's sort of an, that's not an immediate concern, but I guess we'll need to recover our skills and weapons at some point if we're to fight that guy again. All right. <laughs> Kids these days have no interest in farming. They'd all rather become soldiers or scholars. Pfft. There's no... There's gonna be no one to take care over the farm. That'll be a problem someday. Whoa, where do you guys appear from? Eh, we're not sure. Where are we? 
Uh, you're in the town. It doesn't have a name because there's only a town in the game. The entrance to the forest is straight up from here. You guys look like you'd be headed there. Feel free to wander around the shops too, but you don't look like you have much money. Thanks? Oh. Oh, I see you're looking at my cow costume. Hey, would you like one just like it? Bring me a few items and I'll let you borrow one. So needs milk and I'm guessing those are cow horns? Curly horns. Okay. Not gonna lie. Pretty funny. It would be even funnier if I did it like this. <laughs> uh, Matt, you cow fucker. Okay, yep, that's everything I wanted it to be. I forgot that was actually a medal. I want to go out and look for treasure, but last time I tried, I was defeated by walking bushes and huge snails. Well, doesn't it suck to be you then? I've been moving garbage around all day. My back hurts. But to be honest, the more random items you carry with you, the better off you'll be when eventually you need them. And finding items is always much cheaper than buying them. Poor animals. Why do people hunt them? Don't worry, their sacrifices were not in vain. I bet they'll taste delicious and make fine clothes. Poor Natalie. I seem to have run out of building materials. Gonna need a few more bricks to finish construction. Bring me some and I'll share stuff with you I found in the rubble. Okay, so here's the equip shop. I need my mouse for this. Uh, to... Oh. So, to buy all this stuff, I'm gonna need a lot of money. All your weapons and armor needs at Iron Bucket Weapon Shop. Also, check out Old Hag Item Shop for everything else. So if I remember right, yep, I got those items. And if I go in here, no. How do I do this again? I know there is a way to get back there and catch those chests, or at least I'm pretty sure there is. I don't remember how, though. Well, I'll figure that stuff out later. I guess it's not too important. Oh, hi! We happen to be single. I've always wanted a boyfriend that looks as strong as you. What? I, uh, yes, but, uh, do you want to see my gun? Stop harassing my party members. They're not as good at, they're not good at talking to girls, and I'm pretty sure you're a bit young for, you know... Oh, is this your girlfriend? Why don't you say so right away? I hope you're trolling. We're not allowed to leave this town. They don't say it's too dangerous to go out there, but it, and it looks like it sure looks like it. Most of us have only read about the outside world in books. Would it be nice to see it someday? That's so sad. Eh, not really. Just gonna leave that one alone. Hey, I'm building a new computer, but I'm missing a few parts. If you donate me some, I'll share my lunch with you. How about it? Don't have the parts for that. I'm an, I'm an NPC, by the way. Many of us have nothing to say, but some of us do. Make sure to talk to everyone, twice even. Many NPCs have more than one thing to say. You're the main character. Without you, there'd be no storyline. Wow, really? What's a troll? Don't worry, it's not so bad here. See this crystal here? There's one like in every area. Once you find them, you can teleport between them, simply by talking to them. Pretty cool, huh? That'd save us some walking, eh? Pity we can't teleport to places we haven't been to, though. And this is how it works. They're all grayed out, so we can't use any of them but the first one, but, but you know... Once we get to them teleporting whatnot. North of here leads out of town into the forest, the inns to the east. Weapon and item shops are to the west, not much to do in the south. If you got some speakers lying around, I can show you how to use them to attack foes. Sounds pretty brutal, right? 
So I guess that's how we get Matt's uh, speaker set up again. I'm a fine warrior, but even if I may not look it, me and the guy over there blow foes away with 180 decibels of pure metal. We can't hear too well, though. I can build you a cool guitar if you bring me some parts. So that's how we get that weapon for him. We we're hanging out here because there's a lot of space. Hey! Do you know you can unlock medals by doing random tasks? Getting medals unlock new unlocks new pictures in the art gallery and also gives you access to new maps which contain otherwise unobtainable treasure. Okay. Wait. Welcome to Old Brick Inn. Enjoy your stay, but don't drink too much. Signed by the Inn and Management. Talk to the lady in the inn to take a nap. It's free and fully replenish your HP and MP, or you can just walk around and heal over time. Talk to the other guy to buy food, though if you're efficient, you should find enough just lying around in treasure chests. I always make sure to have plenty of food handy when traveling so I can grab a snack for fast recovery, especially when fi there's fighting involved. Though at my low level, natural healing by walking is good enough most of the time. This is my cat Meow Meow. He likes to cut. He needs cat food. Meow. Hello, Meow Meow. Nice to see you again. I'm assuming that's supposed to be the developer of the game that Meow Meow is originally from. Here, yeah, what a crummy looking place. Look at the state of these people. Looks like. Let's get out of here as soon as we can. They have beer and food. Awesome. I'd settle for an energy drink or the closest thing to that. Didn't sleep at all. I could hear all the noise from the bar, even at my room. The food here is terrible. I got wiped out by monsters. Luckily, autosave saved my progress after each screen I passed. I didn't got to pass the first screen of the forest, though. Now I think I might have drank a bit too much. Got any cure for hangovers? No, I do not. Okay, uh... I guess this world would be sleeping. Doesn't look very clean. What the hell is she doing in here? We got a bunch of things that don't really matter right now. <laughs> what am I doing in here? Some guy stuffed me in a treasure box. I saw it. Hey, don't touch me. She smells really bad. Well, that's kind of... Okay. We're just going to get out of here. Let me guess, once flowers or something? See that huge house over there? It's been locked and abandoned for years. I bet you can find some cool stuff if you manage to get in. Uh, no, I wouldn't do that. This guy seems pretty damn. We've lost a lot of soldiers lately. It's the la It's the things you don't see coming that really gets you down. My friends all died protecting the town from a giant red slime which fell from the sky. How on earth did that happen? I wish I had flowers to put on their graves. I called it. I need flowers to put on the graves. Okay, yeah, I don't really have flowers for you, though. I haven't gone outside town yet, so... I guess for now we're just gonna get moving. We've talked to everyone in town, I think. Aha, our first dungeon. Doesn't look very interesting, though. Maybe we'll at least find some decent creatures to eat. We're not here to hunt innocent animals, though I guess it's alright to euthanize some if they get in our way. We should get through this place in five minutes. I don't want you two messing around. Let's hurry up and visit the tougher levels so we can hunt real monsters, not feeble fer forest vermin. I concur. Let's slaughter everything that moves and get out of here. Actually. Entrance to vegetable forest. Beware of slimes and snails. Hunting is encouraged to keep down monster population. Okay. Um. Well there, youngsters. Don't you know where you're going? This forest is dangerous. There's all sort of trouble around here. That's why we've been stationed here to protect the town. Excuse us, but we're not from around here. We're not ordinary village folk, either. We've got a bit of battle experience. We runs like you? Well, if you say so. You might want to warm up on those gr weak green bushes enemies behind me, though, just to get some practice. We've had reports of a huge volcanic eruption in some distant land. Don't know much about it, but it must have been pretty disastrous if people around here could see it. Take it easy. Lancelot over there is the highest ranking knight in town, so he gets first choice of equipment. He took all the weapons, all the I've got left is here's my shovel. My job sucks. Maybe I should just ditch this place and become an adventurer. Tired yet? Maybe I should go back to town and leave the fighting to it. Screw off. Well, these guys look weak. Looks like one or two hits should bring them down. <laughs> oh. Wait, I need my mouse, really? Okay. Bush. Oh, it's only Tremor. Uh. Right. 
Um, kind of magic. Only Lucky Star. Only heal. And now just attack this one, and it's dead. I used my fapping arm for that attack. Gross. Bonk. Well, I was hoping to end it after two turns, but apparently Natalie's physical attack sucks. Or it could not hit us again. Thanks for buffing yourself instead of attacking, you idiot. You got an herb for that, and a bunch of other things that don't really matter right now. Pro tip, hit the enemies until they die. That is a pro tip, I have to say. Actually, now that I think about it, um, I don't really know how to do it. So, just hit the red bush. Maybe it's you? No. Yeah, I have no idea how to uh, check how to scan them. That's what I'm saying. Oh, of course it's Lance. Mr. Tech over here. Name Green Bush, level 1. Type Small Shrub, HP 70. Defense 4, Magic Defense 4, Evade 4. Timid Creature, well hidden among the other plants. Elemental weaknesses are Fire, Earth, and Poison. He's resistant to water. He is he is weak to Berserk, but is resistant to Blind. Okay. And now he's uh, scanned forever. So... I'm going to be scanning as many enemies as I can. I don't know if I'll be able to scan them all, but there's the hope, at least. So I can get to those chests later, I believe. Ew, snails, remove them, please. They do look rather pathetic, but they seem to be blocking some paths, so maybe our extermination efforts would be rewarded. Here's an even better tip. Don't die. Much munch on some kiwi or something if you get tired. Okay. Die. Um Guess I'll just kill the bush since we've already seen it before. And you scan on the snail. Okay, it's the Vegetable Destroyer, 82 HP, 4 Defense, 4 Magic Defense, 3 Evade, Destroyer of your crops, attacks with water. He is weak to Ice, Poison, Bomb, and Earth, resistant to Thunder, Wind, Fire, and Water. He is weak to Poison and not resistant to any status effect. I think I remember him being weak to Earth. Try using this. And he's dead. Actually, wait. Shoot. Quit your buffing. And he's dead. Everyone leveled up. And I don't know how to use AP, so I'll have to check that. Menu. Uh, skills, maybe? Yeah, that's how you do it. You have to spend points to get your skills back. So... I need no legs. I need no legs, and it costs 50, though. Or I could up my physical... Yeah, all these things are too much right now. So, we don't have any of those right now. Lance, make sure to use your scan ability to collect monster data. It'll be helpful in remembering their weaknesses. Okay, he's weak to ice, poison, bomb, and earth. So, earth. Wow. Okay. Okay. 
Okay. Um. Green Slime is a forced wong slime. 59 HP, 4 defense, magic, and evade. The most common resident of every forest is very weak and only uses standard attacks. Fire, ice, and uh, thunder is what it's weak against. It's resist resistant to water, poison, and earth. Weak to death and doom. It is not resistant to anything. Got the fuck up. Okay, so it's very resistant to earth. But weak to my death. <laughs> well, not my death, but you know what I mean. We just crawled through a tree. I did not sign up for this. Isn't nature great? Got Ragged Cloth and Bug Wing. Milk and Muffins. Kiwis. Bunch of good stuff for going in there. Kiwis, Herbs, and Earth Balls. My boyfriend he, over there wants to protect the town from the green slimes, but it looks like his experience level's too low. Isn't he cute? I promised I promised him we'd get married when he defeats a green slime. I'm so excited. Do you know that monsters that are higher level than you can evade attacks much better? I can't those targets over there because they're at much higher level than I am. Poor Legolas. I can't hit anything. Hoo -hoo. Okay. I'll take care of these. Don't worry, citizen. Should have started attacking the other ones first now that I think about it. Bushido. Use Lucky Star on you. Use Scan on you. Okay. Red Bush. They're about the same as the others, just with more HP. They're a small shrub. A rare variety of bush with better defensive skills. Fire, Earth, and Wind. Okay. What a feeble attack. Guess I'll attack you. Cast Lucky Star on you. And we're done. Everyone leveled up as well. Which makes me even more powerful. I also didn't need to scan these guys so I can just do this battle easily. Too easy. Now let me guess. Oh. That's an attack we hadn't seen. Not the worst pain I felt. I mean, to be fair, we did fight a zombie version of Super Saiyan 2 Trunks. So... Mushrooms and muffins. Steel plate, mushroom, and old wood. That's an interesting fight you've got there, my son. I'm not your son, and it's called a scouter. I stole it from a guy with a rough attitude and a tail. It seems to gauge an opponent's power level. Seems like you already know a bit about it. Remember to use your scan ability as on as many foes as possible. The information you gain will be forever stored in the beachiary, and can be used across many saved games. Keep scanning those foes. Don't scan me, though. Foes that block paths will never respond, but the others when you will when you leave the screen. If your team gets wiped out or flees from battle, the foe that defeated you will remain on the map. 
Sling foes is key to healthy lifestyle. Some monsters block access to the next map, though many battles are completely optional. I'll be doing all of them because, you know, fun. Oh my, hello there. You wouldn't happen to have some bug wings and old wood, would you? Not enough for what you need. There's no rush, but I'll find those items sooner or later. That huge lump of slime hasn't been hasn't left that spot in hours, so I'm just enjoying some tea while we're stranded. I guess we're not really in a hurry anyway. I have in my position a very pe peculiar staff. It seems to vastly increase my magic's accuracy. If you lend me your time, I may allow you to borrow it. I need charcoal and jawbones, neither of which I have. Ooh, new kind of slime. Uh, right, not Pushido, because they're resistant to Earth. Scan time! Okay, level 3 gelatinin, gelatin, gelatin animal. A slime that bred with a furry animal, slightly stronger than normal green slimes. Weak to dark, poison, and fire, resistant to water. Weak to death, doom, and poison. So, I mean, I could use my earth attack, but it's not really necessary. Okay, here's where things get fun. Why are they all attacking Natalie? What's the lower how long their turns take? Dang it, really poisoned. Okay, almost leveled up from that. If some of your allies die in battle, they'll be revived with 1 HP when you finish. Status problems are also healed when you finish battle. Garlic is cheap, so you should keep a decent stockpile of it, until you learn Purify anyway. But even Purify won't work if you're siphoned. Pfft, green slimes and garden snails have destroyed most of my crops. Land within the town boundaries is expensive, so I'll have to deal with this, I guess. Things have been getting worse since the volcano erupted, though. wonder if they've gotten the monsters angry. I've been guarding this path for many years now. Countless challengers have warded off. Behind me is a sacred forest grotto, and I'm afraid I can't just let anyone in. Well, what can we do to get inside? Only those who are pure of heart and collected ten medals may enter. If you can accomplish that, I, then I deem you war, war me. worthy. English, how does it work? I don't know why I screw up words so often. You get hit. You get hit. I said hit. Another Bushido for you. Oh no, I think that Epic Battle Fantasy is pretty fun. I've seen my mother survive harder hits than that. I feel like there's bad context to that, but alright. Done. Battle finish. Why is someone farming bacon out here? We might as well grab one. 
ellipses. Oh, fine, I'll leave the pigs alone. Always fun. You got bacon! You got star hair clip, boost the power of Lucky Star and Star Shower, as well as coffee. Natalie? Let's switch over to this. Actually, wait. Flower resistance to earth and poison. Resistance to fire and boost the power of fire rain. Or just raise the power of Lucky Star, which is her only spell, so I'm doing that. 